can I introduce you to Avi? Um, Avi is on the auction course uh, at the moment and he was showing me a newspaper cutting about how he had saved a hundred year old building in Chester mm -hmm. or somewhere around there and uh, how successful he had been since he started the Tigrant journey and it was interesting that he came on the first auction course about 18 months ago, didn't you? That's and right. That's right. He's come back again, so there is testament to um, how um, he enjoyed the first one. And uh, I asked him if he would come and just talk a few minutes, talk for a few minutes about how he's developed his portfolio since he first came on the first course, which was in Norwich. That's correct. So, what happened to your journey after that? Because you were an amateur, very much an amateur uh, investor. Yes. Um, and you told me that maybe the first auction course brought you a different perspective on how to run your portfolio as a business. You had some properties there anyway. That's didn't correct, you? yeah. So, I had uh, a few properties before then, but as you said, um, it was more as an uh, amateur investor or amateur landlord. Uh, and doing it more as a hobby rather than as a business. But since uh, you know being on Tigrant and also the, the auction course, uh, it, um, it turned it around and I'm running it more as a business now uh, and it accelerated the growth um, of, of what I'm doing. And um, I was on the, the very last course that uh, you did in Norwich, uh, the auction course. Um, and I found it really useful. Uh, I've been on all the uh, the Tigrant courses now, and I found that auction one uh, was uh, the best out of the lot uh, because it was more practical. Uh, you know, we went out and had a look at properties. Uh, we went to the real auction room. Uh, we've we've had a, uh, the the auctioneer came and spoke to us afterwards in terms of what really went in the room and. Uh, so we could understand what was happening in the room uh, from behind the scenes, if you like, rather than um, you know from being in the room. You you think something's happening, but it's not really. Well, of course, we're now doing it um, in London, yeah, as opposed to um, Norfolk, yeah, where I much preferred it, of course. But having said that, it really does work or seem to work well in London. Now, have you enjoyed the last few days? Yes, definitely. I mean, I. That's why I wanted a, you know, to come and do a refresher course because uh, I just I wanted to experience the London uh, auction as well um, and obviously it's your son uh, Ben doing it now um, so you know it, it's not uh, a you know repeat of the, the, the previous course there's new things uh, in there which is obviously which I'm you know picking up on so it, it's a different experience this time around uh, and I have um, picked up new things. Um, but um, you know, it, it is one of those things. You know, the London market is completely different from you know uh, the rest of the England. Can you? That, that's really good news, and um, I, I'm very proud to be part of this development um, from from the in, uh, start of it all. But can you tell me a bit more about your Tigrant journey? Because after the auction course, that was fine. Mm -hmm. You've been on lots of other Tigrant courses. Yes. But your investment, which is after all what it's all about yes. buying properties yeah how did you how did you deal with it from then on so yeah so um, it's um, I bought up a portfolio sorry um, my portfolio size has grown uh, to 40 plus properties now um, and the main principles that I've used is what you call the, the snowball yes uh, I'm, yes I know so yes. which is basically you know you buy the property do the work um, and get all your, you know, remortgage it six months down the line, get all your money back out. And you've done some of those? I have done a few of them uh, recently. In fact, I'm doing two of them right now. Um, and basically use the money to do another property. Um, so that, that seems to be working where, uh, very well where I am doing So it. you're actually using other people's money? Yes. And then actually having a property effectively for nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. it's cash flowing well. Yeah, so if I... I mean, that's marvellous, isn't it? I mean, one example I can, you know, um, um, if I can point out that I'm doing right now, or I've just remortgaged it, um, I bought it for 48,000 with legal, fee, uh, legal fees and etc. It came to 50,000. 
um, spent 30,000 to do the renovation work because it needed everything doing to it because the property's been empty for about 10 to 12 years. Um, so I ended up spending 80,000 uh, on the property but the, the value is just been valued at 120 after all the work. So I went for a 75% loan to value on that, uh, which meant I could take out 90,000. Uh, so basically that gave me back my 80,000 plus another 10,000 pounds profit. And I still got another 30,000 pounds equity in the property. Uh, and uh, it's rented out for 575 per calendar month. Uh, so it's cash flowing at about £200 per calendar month. I think that is amazing. Now then, when I spoke to you yesterday, yes. um, you showed me a newspaper about which I was really very excited. Yeah. The article um, showed a lovely picture of you standing in front of a wonderful building, I believe in Chester. Yes. Yes, yeah. and the headline was, 100-year-old building being renovated by you um, and put, put, brought back to its former glory. That's correct, yeah. Can you so, tell us just a little bit about that? Yes. Because it obviously hit the headlines and was really quite interesting. Yeah, so it's um, it's a 102-year-old building. Um, it's a grade two listed building at the moment, and it's an iconic building um, in that area. And um, it's been empty for a couple of years, and it's sort of deteriorating. Um, so um, I, I looked at it a couple of times. Um, it came to a couple of auctions yeah. previously, uh, but... The didn't price sell. it didn't sell, and the price you know they were asking was a bit too high, so I waited and waited, and then it came up in um, in the December auction uh, a couple of months ago uh, with a more reasonable guide price. Oh, you bought it at auction? Yes. Oh, well done. Yeah, yes. Um, so I, I went to the auction, um, got the building, and um, I am planning to convert it into uh, a number of flats. Um, so we are just going through the planning process at the moment yes. um, and also um, what the council are looking to do because there's a lack of uh, you know, accommodation, yeah. uh, residential properties in that area. Um, you know, I, I'm uh, applying for a grant as well um, yes. which, which will help me towards the renovation uh, costs. I'm really excited so. about this. Have you done the sums on it? Yes, I have. You have. Yes, I have. Do they look good? Yes. Uh, I, again, uh, you know, based on what I was saying about the, the snowball um, 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 principle, the, the sums that I have done, uh, you know, I should be able to take all my money back out. Uh, You're going to really be able to do that? Yes. On a historic building? That's correct, yeah. Because they're yeah. very expensive to do, aren't they? they? Are, but there's it lots is, of pitfalls. Yeah, there is a, it is a large building. Yeah. And we can get as many as 10 apartments in there. Wow. Um, we, we may end up getting, you know, maybe seven, eight, but it is possible to get up to 10. Um, so the numbers will work on that one. Okay. Um, yeah. There's just one question I'd like to ask, and that is, do you have your own builders, um, or do you have contractors who specifically work for you under your own employment? Because a project like that can be so expensive to do, as I said before. Yes. Um, how do you cut the costs, or are you not too worried about that? No, it, it's mainly because it's, we are not doing anything structural in terms of extension or anything. It's all internal. Uh, the main uh, trades, uh, it's mainly trades people that I use. <coughs> Um, in terms of plumbers, uh, electricians, uh, plasterers, and so on. Yeah. Um, so, so you've got a power team there? Yes, I have yeah. a power team okay. in, in the yeah. local area yeah. that I use. Uh, yeah. So I have a good relationship built built up with them. Good. Um, so I know who they are and what to expect from them and so on. And they work on a sensitive basis because it's a sensitive project. It is, yes, good. definitely. Good. And the, the, the one thing I particularly wanted to ask you was, what is your driver behind this? It's not just to make money. No. You have family reasons, I believe. Yeah, so it, it you, know, um, you know, when uh, people talk about the, the, the reason why, you know, we do th things. Um, so it all started off a couple of years ago when um, my younger son, who was um, uh, two and a half at that time, uh, he, uh, he had meningitis, bacterial meningitis, and... Uh, That's really good. Yes, it was. It was a tough period. Uh, those few months, he was in intensive care for one month, um, 
and you know we thought we nearly lost him um, so it was that period where I reflected on you know things and I was you know uh, working full time and you know not spending enough time with the family and uh, so I was thinking you know is this really what you know if something had happened have I been doing the right things you know and it was that time um, you know I made a conscious decision uh, to say you know I want to do this for the family and so that I can spend more time with the family as well so basically that kick started um, uh, my journey and I you know came and um, joined Tiger and going through the journey and carrying on by the sounds of it I am carrying it's on really yes. good. Right, and and auction uh, has been a good source of uh, properties uh, for me as well, um, and even though even if I'm not going you know going to buy properties at auction, I do tend to go to them because just to you know absorb the atmosphere to f- pick up new things, uh, but I have bought quite a few properties now through auction. Well, you know I have a passion for property, don't you? Yes. And I think that's been passed on a little bit. Yes. I hope so. Anyway. Yes, it has. So well done. Thank you.